All right, so we're here with our patient again. She had uh, Sculptra about a month ago, okay? Uh, we actually posted this kind of like a live video uh, m about a month ago on how we inject Sculptra in the office. So how, how do you think Sculptra worked for you? I love it. I Probably about three and a half weeks into, after getting it, I saw there's a big difference in my skin, in my cheeks, they became fuller. My skin became a little more tighter, taut. Um, and clearer, and it, I love it. I, I'm really looking forward to the next round. Of, not the shots, but I'm looking, for the, looking forward to the next round. So, so this, is a t this is typical, you know, we usually see more of, you know, she had injections here, um, which is gonna increase the volume in the, in the cheek region and kind of pull back more to decrease this fold here. Um, and you can see, you know, if you were to compare her um, pictures from last time, uh, her her cheeks are higher, she's got more volume there, and her skin quality actually looks better. So we're gonna do another round. Usually for Sculpture we do three rounds, meaning three sessions spaced out about four to six weeks apart. And Sculpture usually lasts about two years, so it's a, it's a good product uh, for, with long-term results. And uh, we can treat a lot of different things in the, in the face, and it's almost like a liquid facelift. So we're actually gonna do this a little bit different today. We're gonna to inject some here, down here, so here, here and actually we're gonna inject some back here and that's gonna pull back more on her on her cheeks this way to give her more of a uh, liquid facelift. So she's had numbing medication on for for about 20 minutes now. Uh, the sculpture actually has some lidocaine which is a numbing medication also. So we're gonna start. Ready? Yep, okay. I am. Looking forward to it. This product is injected a little bit deeper than other types of fillers. It's injected more down towards the bone. <clears throat> so we're gonna do some back here. And again, that's gonna pull her face back more in the direction of a, of a facelift pattern. Not directly, but. And as she stated, most usually see results in about three to three to four weeks. That's a typical time period. All right, so we're gonna do the other side now. How, how are you doing? Good. So there's a nerve right here, so this area of her face is going to become numb from the numbing medication that we put in it. <clears throat> You can see she's pretty comfortable actually. Again, numbing medication has been, was put on her skin about 20 minutes ago. And she seems to be pretty comfortable. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't hurt. Okay, we're gonna do some more back here. We're just going to do some down on each side here. So there's a nerve down here also. So the bottom of her, of her uh, chin is going to become numb as well as her lower, lower lip probably. And that will wear off in about two to three hours. <clears throat> I usually tell patients to massage for five minutes, five times a day for five days after sculpture. And one of the things you'll read about Sculptra is um, you can get little lumps and bumps. 
I think that is because when we used to make mixed up sculpture, it was mixed up that day and it wasn't completely in solution. So you would get lumps and bumps. Uh, I don't see that in my patients because we mix it up five to seven days before uh, patients even in the office. So now we're just going to give her some ice. How was that? Easy. Easy. Yep. Did not hurt. And the results were really great, so I'm excited. So that's our injection technique for a sculpture. Again, this is the second injection, and uh, we'll see her again in about four four weeks, and we'll do our third round of uh, sculpture injections. Thank you.